What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and today we got a sweet and soapy hybrid with amazing performance. That's coming up next, and this is Oh So Fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name's Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and hitting me decent down on my bell end. That lets you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, as you got a little tease from the intro, we got a hybrid. You saw the thumbnail, so you guys and girls know what's up. This is a hybrid between two juggernaut fragrances, and I am super excited to get into it. The fragrance that we got in Dua, Queen of Casino Royale. So this fragrance combines two juggernaut houses with extreme quality, one being the Italian house Zerzhoff with their hit Picovaya Dama, the other one being France's probably biggest house that there is in Mason Francis Kirk John and their Wonder Kid Baccarat Rue 540 x straight. I've done a bunch of these Casino Royales. I know you guys are probably like, is he getting tired of it? When they start coming out with things like this that are completely out of your brain, and you're like, oh, we got the Casino Elixir, this just flips scents, and I've said it so many times, but it's absolutely true. This does something to fragrances. I don't know what it is. The DNA in here, when they designed Baccarat Rue 540, when Mace's Francis Kirk John actually put his nostrils into this and designed it, he knew what he was doing. The group behind it, whoever. You take the Queen of Spades fragrance, which is kind of known to be a very soapy fragrance, then you put the Baccarat, and it completely takes it out of the realm at what it is. Now, it still has characteristics of it, and surprisingly enough, the casino isn't completely drowning out the Queen of Spades. It comes together in a beautiful fashion. But let me shut up and get to why you guys all came here and get to the scent breakdown. All right, I got my Queen of Casino Royale, and of course, my handy dandy fresh strip. And we're gonna take this baby to the casino. This opens up with a quick strike of citrus. We got lemon in here, we got bergamot, and of course, one of my all-time favorite notes, neroli. I pick it up, but that's followed really, really quickly with a very good rose and jasmine note. Everything in here is super clean. You get a little bit of a balsamic feel already. So it already took the DNA from the Queen of Spades, and of course, Casino came in trying to steal the thunder, and Queen is like, uh, 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 and is fighting back. They are fighting in harmony though, because this is starting out very, very good. You have to be a fan of Neroli and citruses. Rose is present in here as well. So those are kind of the first key takes to it. So if you don't like Neroli, you may not like this one, but as always try to sample it because there's tricks being played in here from the Casino Royale that snuck up already. That beautiful Jasmine note is mixed in with the Rose from Queen of Spades. And that actually carries us down to the mid where that starts becoming way more prominent. We get a good sharp iris note that pushes through here as well. And then here comes Casino again with that patented almond. It's toasted. It is putting some more dynamic and some depth to this. So you have that clean note and that cleanness stays the entire way. But it also has this sweetness thrown in here, a little bit of earthiness from that almond. It's a little bit bitter, right? And then you mix it in with that Neroli that's still playing present. Those florals that are mixed in. So you got that jasmine, that iris. I think there's some geranium, a bunch of different florals that are in here. So you do have to be a little bit of a fan of florals to like this one but I can't see too many people that wouldn't like this one. It's extremely clean, extremely fresh, with a nice trail of citrus behind it. You get that patented, like I said, the Casino Royale DNA, but now it's just amped up with some more freshness. All right, as always, she on my skin. As the dry down is here, the first thing, at least to my nostrils that are present, nostrils, they big. The first thing that is present to me is a very good, clean, fresh musk. That's lint from the Queen of Spades. Like I said, this one is known to be a little bit of a soapier fragrance. So you can expect very good cleanness from this, 
But of course, Casino Royale is not to be outdone and it's lending up some of its sweetness as well to help really change things out and keep things really in check and in balance. And because of that, we have like a caramelly sweetness that's kind of drizzled over some cedar logs. You have some ambergris here as well. Again, very clean, very fresh, very high quality. So all of that is just giving a very good, strong, stiff base to give good Vifragra. Sometimes people think when you have two fragrances, they come out rushed or they're not gonna be good together. Even if you put something as huge of a star like the Casino Royale lineup, this is an extremely polished, very well balanced fragrance. You have that cleanness, you have that sweetness, you have that floral, you have that wood, you have all of the components to a big hit, one that is gonna last for a long time, push out in the air and everybody is going to enjoy it. Now, who can wear it, where to wear it, how to wear it. I think this is a unisex fragrance, but to me and probably the majority of people are going to say this is a feminine fragrance. It has sweetness to it. Queen of Spades already to me was a feminine fragrance, but I did enjoy wearing it because it has that soapiness to it. But now, you add that Casino Royale. Anytime Casino Royale is put into it, you can almost automatically make this a feminine fragrance if you wish. Like I said, to throw this into a box, I would say it leans more feminine to me. Some women are going to absolutely enjoy that sweetness. The florals that are in the mid are definitely gonna cater better to some ladies. Men, you're gonna enjoy it as well. I think it smells amazing, but it is gonna get the old tip of the cap and the point from me, Mega Dave, as a feminine fragrance, okay? So men, don't feel shamed. Wear what you love, love what you wear. But this, to me, leans more feminine. Now, again, to me, this definitely is designed for warmer weather. So spring, absolutely. Summer, it's gonna be just fine. Fall, I think you're okay. As long as you don't start getting way up into the north where you're getting 20 degrees or 30 degrees, I think you'll be okay as well. Uh, winter, Definitely think there's tons of better winter fragrances, but you could probably pull this off southern areas of the United States, anywhere way below us where you guys are always constantly warm. This thing is going to be just fine. It'll keep you ladies or you men refreshed, feeling good, feeling sweet, feeling sexy and loving it. In its current form, I've already pulled about eight and a half hours of it. I know it's gonna get a little bit better. I also get about one and a half hours or so of decent push. Then I got a nice little skin bubble. It rides the rest of the way, taking me all the way home. So you are gonna get decent performance out of it. This is just a hair better than what I would consider average out of Dua. And I do expect it to at least gain about half an hour. So this may push the nine hour range. Now, it may be even better on you. This is just what works on me and how it smells on my skin. Chemistry has a ton to do with this one, especially this smells very, very super fresh on paper. Then when you put it on skin to a pH like mine, it's more warmed up. The skin just kind of changes it and the casino kind of brings up a lot quicker. Or in a woman, not saying you guys are cold or anything, but it doesn't warm up as quick and it stays a lot fresher on a woman's skin. So that's just me telling you from experience, at least from myself and to people that I've smelled it on, that's kind of how it reacts. It is a very good fragrance. I think a ton of people are gonna like it and I'm definitely glad to have that in my inventory. It's going on my shelf for my warm weather. Ladies, you're gonna love it. Let me know, especially down in the comments, what you think of it. If you bought it, if you love it, if you wear it, I'd definitely like to know, see what kind of projection, what kind of performance you're getting. I'd definitely like to see more people interacting down below. I know I get a bunch of comments, but that's part of my day. I love going in the morning. I scroll through my phone. Oh, we got blah, blah, blah talking to me or blah, blah, blah. There's people, you guys have names, you girls have names, but that's one of my things that I absolutely love doing. Also, just wanna make you guys and you girls aware, I'm starting a brand new channel called Mega Dave's Faves. That's going to be normal fragrances, if you will. This one is overrun with duas, and I feel like doing justice to duas, and that's why I've done them so many days in a row, because I absolutely love it. That's my favorite house. But I do own other fragrances. I kind of been getting bombarded with people asking, what do you think of this? Because they know I have a pretty decent collection. So I am starting that new channel. As you see this, that channel should be live. I'll put my first video up. It'd be awesome if you guys subscribed. If you care about seeing other fragrances besides Dua, I'm gonna be putting them there. I'm gonna be reviewing YouTuber fragrances. I'm gonna be reviewing normal fragrances. I'm gonna be reviewing off-kilter fragrances. I'm not gonna be chasing every single new release, okay? Because I'm super busy doing Duas because I chase these. He puts so many. But list videos are gonna go there. Very popular fragrances that come out. 
anything from my YouTube fam as well. If you guys are dropping fragrances, I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna review them. I'm gonna be upfront and honest, just like I do with the duos. So hopefully you guys and your girls enjoy that. And speaking of ladies, I'm gonna be putting ladies fragrances there. I know a bunch of YouTubers don't really get into that realm. I'm trying to help you girls out. So that's gonna be coming as well. But till I come to you again, and as always, I love you so much. Continue to be blessed. Stay fresh.